video I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring in a long section from Google Earth data and profile it to some degree. So first we go to Google Maps and we locate the area we are concerned about and we'll just bring in that image. Once the image is loaded we have a easily definable area and please note that the image is also geo-referenced. Next we will play some points and get heights from Google Earth. So I'm just going to go to points add and points in a grid and just define the area that I'm interested in. I'll set up a sort of a spacing that I want my grid points to be in and I'll tell it to derive its heights from Google Maps. Here I actually send my data to Google Maps and tell it to bring in my coordinate elevations. The program prompts me to generate triangles, I say yes. And if I then replot that, that's the contours generated from the Google elevations. Next I will add my string which is module 11 in Model Maker. And, uh, We'll just say indicate and we'll indicate the location for our string. Let's just do a short bit. And what happens now is the start and the end height is on the ground. So I'm going to go into my string tools and just go vertical. And in fact, let's go one step back. I'll just add a couple of nodes onto that. Let's say I want a node every 20 meters. And then I'm taking that string and I'm going to go to vertical and just apply a constant deduction on it. In other words, I'm going to drop it by, let's say, minus five meters. Let's say, okay. Next, I will view the string in vertical. So I'll go vertical view. And I just want to clear up my screen a bit, just show certain details. Uh, what you will see here is a node every 20 meters and the height difference of these nodes. I can edit any of these nodes. I can give them an, a name. I can tell it to use the height of the ground above it. Or I can edit it and assign it a specific height. And then once I'm happy with whatever the profile heights should be, I can just say grade node between certain nodes. Or I can grade a certain segment and say that segment should be uh, minus 5%. Let's add some more height difference there. Okay, and what you would have seen is because I clicked close to that node, that is the node that moved up or down based on that. So I'll click there again, just make it... 1% again and you can see the opposing point is then lowered and the new height or depth below my surface is calculated. I can also say special and node move and take it with my free hand. Oh, that moved the whole string. Okay, it's just as well. But you can see my strings don't have a negative value anymore. They are now positive. And let's say I want to drop it by three meters again and I'll just go to constant and click on the string and just say minus, uh, let's do 4.5 meters. Okay, so the whole thing is then dropped by that amount. Right, so when I'm happy with my result, I can also go to my display. While I work, I can say show the elevations of the nodes. There's my height difference that you just saw. Uh, you can label some low points, you can put some slopes on and you can even label the ground profile which becomes quite a busy drawing but I'll change that and say so don't show the ground labels and there you have the actual information of each node and let's say I want to take this node to that point and lower it so I'll say minus 2.5 meters so it calculates the corresponding slope in percentage ratio degrees and there 
the slope is updated. So there I have my 4.2% and let's say I want to just go to a flat zero slope. So I'll say from that node to that node, I want a zero slope. Okay, and you can play like that until you're happy. And normally I will then generate a long section of that. And this is how we'll do it. We go to horizontal and then we will just use in our strings mode there's a utility and then there's a button string to long section and we want to show both the string and the ground in this case just select the string and then you have th two options you can see i can add a ground line give it a specific header uh, change the elevations of string the depth so you can say yeah cut or fill or whatever you want to call it uh, you can even add additional intervals on your uh, long section I'm just going to keep it at 20 meter and so on so I'm just going to say okay you can set up your plot scale even tell it it's a continuous length or you can fit it into multiple sheets um, yeah so it's up to you and then you can set up some or other horizontal and vertical grid for your long section and plot it to CAD so I'm going to just zoom in a bit and there you have the long section profile drawn in I see I've got a little setting that is bothering me so I'll just say control Z and go to long section again just click it and say OK I'll go to default and say don't label the show, uh, slopes on the ground line and I don't want to skip any offsets and just say OK again and plot again. All right, so there we have it. We now have a ground line change uh, and we have a height difference. That label down there, we can just change that. It's just normal text. So I'll go to text edit and just um, call that the string. Maybe change its color or whatever. So I've got all my depth differences, the elevation of the string, elevation of the ground, the change on the uh, string and the ground. Um, nicely laid out and there's the profile and these pen colors and so on I can customize to my own liking. And that's how you profile a string based on a Google Maps coordinate or height model.